Now, I don't think I'm being alarmist when I say that numbers rule our lives. They do. With an iron fist. Three blind mice, ten green bottles, 99 red balloons, uh -huh. a million love songs. Yeah. Where would we be without them? Numbers. To celebrate the new year, myself and Matthew decided to jazz up what was a pretty rainy afternoon by travelling throughout Suffolk looking for numbers that added up to 2009. We really should get out more. I'd only just plugged in my travel abacus when Matthew parked the car at the side of the road and unleashed what was a torrent of mathematics. Um, I should warn you, by the way, that if you're particularly sensitive to the gratuitous honking of an old-fashioned horn, you might find the next few minutes somewhat distressing. What we have here, Simon, is the A14. 14, our first number. OK, so I'll write the number 14 here on my pad. So 14, so I guess we could have the A12, A140. This will be done in seconds, won't it? I think maybe no more roads, no more roads. Doss, so we'll top these up in the car. If you can hear bottles clinking in the background, we're in Matthew's car and um, he drinks a lot, it has to be said. I guess that's another number, the number of bottles I have in the boot. We'll count them when we stop again, but that's my recycling, obviously. Well, obviously, you're a very environmentally aware chap in this gigantic gas guddling 4x4. So a few on-the-road numbers now. Cotton them. Two. two. Need a market four. On 40 mile an hour zone. 40. Oh, uh, just kind of generally heading towards Needham Market from Claydon along the old, old road. Uh, a selection of three, four and five bedroom homes. Three, four and five bedroom homes. There's another 40 there, but it's on the actual road itself, so I'm going to count that. You'd think numbers would be everywhere, wouldn't you? Although, it's not, we're not just looking for numbers printed, are we? We're no, looking no, for exactly. numbers. So, hey. you see here, there's a fence coming up. Yeah. How many posts are there? One, two, three. <laughs> 25. One shed. One shed. Cycle route, 51. 51, that's a nice one. But already the numbers are ramping up. Oh, was that's... that your watch? That, that, your your that's, new watch? That's my new Christmas watch, yeah. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Oh, 11. Oh, oh, 11 o'clock. This is Needham Lake. Um, people come here to sit and watch the ducks. How many people have come to count the ducks? I think mm, we may be the first. I believe you could be right. So, get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. 52 ducks and one swan. See the ones here? They're geese. Oh, yeah. Sorry, ducks plus geese. OK. OK, I, I don't mind. I'm not saying you got it wrong. I'm just... No, just 50, 52 ducks and geese. OK, right. And one swan. You're walking your dog around Needham Lake. Hello, what's your name? Jean. I'm looking for numbers. How old is your dog? 11. 11? And um, what's the dog's name? Charlie. Thank you. Uh, can you think of any number, any Suffolk numbers that you want to add to the list? Suffolk? Well, no, really. Number 55. Where we live. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you a supporter of a football club? Chelsea. Great job. The last game they won, what did they win by? 2-0. Two, no. two, two. See, see, now you're getting the idea. Oh, we're getting there now, aren't we, eh? <laughs> Thank you. What was your name? What was your name? Albert. I could use this opportunity just to uh, do some quick, uh, quick seagull counting before they fly off. One, two, three, four, five. Sixteen seagulls. Thanks. This little child here is on a, on a trike. Three wheels. Children here feeding the ducks and the geese. What, what are their names? They are Billy and George. Billy, can I take your age? How old are you? Four and a half. And, and George? Two and a quarter. George is two and a quarter. Do you want to say that, George? No. OK. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Needham Lake's been a very productive place. It's been an aquatic number generator. I think move on now somewhere else. BBC Radio Suffolk, but we're not done yet. Oh, no, we're only up to 499. I'm loving the horn. I think the horn should get its own show. So, will we get to the magic number 2009? Find out after the temptations of BBC Radio Suffolk. Get ready. Temptations, get ready. It's Matt and Simon, and it's a Sunday afternoon. Join the dots, people. <laughs> Do the math, people. So far on our quest to find numbers that added up to uh, 2009, for obvious reasons, Matt and I have reached the grand total of 499. Now, hopefully, you've been uh, busy adding up at home. I'm sure you have been. So you'll know that we've got 1,510 left to find. What we need, as we travel throughout the county, is to find some really big numbers. Bridge number 265. Two elderly people there on that sign. Two elderly people walking along the road. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Bus stop. I think that says Super Route 88. But driving through the uh, uh, on the high street of Needham. Reduce 50p each. 50p each. Thinking the bottle bank is up here. Six separate uh, collection points. OK, here we are. Let's count those bottles. Um, 20, you'll be best mates. 21, 22, 23, I love you. 24. 42 there. Uh, a man here is also using the bottle bank. What, what's your name? What's your name? Melvin Rosier. OK, and how old are you? Uh, 62. Can we take that number? Yes, good. We can have 62. 
<laughs> Hello, what's your name? Hi, Tracy. Tracy, can we take your age? Very rude, I know, but... <laughs> 43. 43. 43. Doesn't look it, but... Uh, um, your daughter, how old is she? She's 19. OK, so we've just driven a few miles up the road out of Needham Market. On the journey here, we found uh, we spotted uh, three farmyard tractors, uh, two lanes on the dual carriageway, ten power lines. When you say power lines, you mean the kind of structures that hold the power lines up? Right, so I've always been fascinated by pig shelters. Don't ask me why. And we're in a perfect vantage point now to count a lot of them. Hi, girls. My colleague is trying to count pig shelters. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you, whilst we're here, can you think of any, any number, any, any number in your head that you, you want to add to our list? 17. So why 17? It's a lucky number for me. OK, and what about you? 16. Why? Because <laughs> it's my age. OK, and your name is? Mandy. And your name is? Hannah. OK, thanks very much, Mandy and Hannah. Uh, 63 corrugated iron shelters for pigs. OK, back on the road um, and still, still looking for numbers. Uh, I see this 120 yards to good home-cooked food. 400 yards to footpath. What a fantastic run of numerical good fortune that was. The library, do you remember the library? Library shuffle, everyone's still doing it. The library shuffle. 21 pounds that cost me in library fines. We could count the amount of traffic using the A14 yeah, yeah. over the course of a minute. OK, I'll do the traffic heading north. You'll be doing the traffic heading towards Ipswich. On our marks, get set, go. Go. Stop. 29. 26. OK, we've just start, uh, just screeched to the side of the road. Uh, what have you seen, Matt? Sheep, Simon. Sheep. Plenty of sheep. Do you want me to count them? If you can count them and stay awake. It's difficult to convey in words the sight of Matthew Marvel counting sheep. <laughs> Looking very suspiciously at some sheep. Ah, he's back. 34. 34 sheep. Excellent. Let's, let's head back to Broadcasting House. All right, back at Broadcasting uh, Broadcasting House. We're fortunately on the way as we drove through Ipswich. Of course, it's sale frenzy, isn't it? So uh, we got 50% off baths and bathroom furniture. Excellent, yeah. And uh, you might be interested in this. <laughs> so, uh, we're whopping 70% off bridal gowns. Ooh. Hopefully that's going to bring us near 2009. I'll, I'll, I'll do the math in a moment. And the result is, Simon? It's hot in off the sound effect there. Um, 1939, we didn't do it. So we're kind of uh, in the Hollywood golden age at the moment. The Wizard of Oz, of course, and <laughs> Gone with the Wind. That's where we are at the moment. Matthew, it's also the eve of the Second World War. I know, I know. Big so events happening. We need to get to 2009. So if I do my maths quickly... Yes? That should be the number... What we need is 70. 70. Sorry. Oh, you can't, look <laughs> at you. I can't resist the horn now. Of course, maybe some of his calculations weren't right. That, that is possible. Maybe you should check them again. You can listen again. How, how simple is that? bbc.co.uk forward slash Suffolk. I've been proven wrong before. It may or may not happen again.